That's right, folks. You're listening to Fanatics and the Fan, and it has been an amazing Star Wars weekend. Oh my God, I, I can't I can't even begin to explain. Um, I Keith, I can't wait uh, for for the numbers. I, I, I think the numbers that we're going to have come December 31st are going to be by far the most shocking numbers that you and I have ever seen in our lifetime. When you say numbers, could you clarify? <laughs> and other people are going to walk through the door and with a smile on their face because they uh-huh. beat the over like 12 times. <laughs> uh, do you know what? Uh, wow. Um, I want to see Darth Vader in the Santa hat. <laughs> I, I think that's already been done. Uh, <laughs> we had a Star Wars themed New Year's Eve party. <laughs> that, that would be awesome. That'd be awesome. So. So let's jump away from Star Wars for just a hot second and enjoy the the, the beauty and the wonderfulness that is the Christmas season. Uh, every year, Keith, you and I talk about the best that, that Christmas has to offer in the world of geekdom. And I, I got to ask, what geek present are you most looking forward to this year? Well, um, geek-related present? Oh, yeah. man. Um you know what? Uh, there's a few things. Uh, for me, I I love books still. I love books. I I think uh, for your geeking pleasure out there, if you're looking for something to get someone, start investing in the Shannara novels. Trust me. When when the new series hits, whoever you buy that for, they're gonna really appreciate it. Just go ahead and go out and get the first three novels in the series, and, and that'll do it. And Sandy? Uh, anything Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> I could not have enough sonic screwdrivers. <laughs> you, you want that new one? Uh, no, not the sunglasses. The new one. With no, no, the, the new one. Yeah, the new one. The new yes, one. I'll take that one. I love the sunglasses. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, no, the sunglasses were horrible. I love the sunglasses. I just, there has not been that many holiday uh, episodes um, of any TV series. Of any TV series. Well, Doc, Doctor Who is the most consistent because they do it every year. and they Yes, it and year. River Song will be coming out this Christmas for Doctor Who, so and that'll be awesome. It's actually on Christmas, so that's awesome. Actually, they're all on Christmas. That's uh, Sherlock of, isn't. It's New Year's Day. True. Sherlock is New Year's Day. But, I mean, Doctor Who, every Christmas episode is on Christmas. That's what it's shown. And that's awesome to me. But I have a question for you. Yeah. Who would you, whose TV series would you like to visit as a guest star on Christmas? On Christmas? Christmas yeah. The current cast. So it's got to be a current cast. <laughs> Okay, nice stipulation there. Doctor Who. Which means Sandy can't say it. Yay! <laughs> oh, because that was mine, darn it. <laughs> I'll trade you. I'll trade you. You you can have Doctor Who. I'll take Sherlock if you're going to take gonna Doctor gonna Who. I was going to say um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but with the way they left our, 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 our mid-season finale, I don't want to visit them and spend Christmas on that particular planet. So. No, they're back. They made it. <laughs> that, that was that was the end of the. That was that was part of it. But uh, no, I mean, if there if there's a television series that I really wouldn't mind spending Christmas with those particular characters, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, it would it would probably have to be the cast of Limitless. Anybody that has not checked out that show, wow. Congratulations to the cast and crew of that one. Yes, is rocking it, aren't they? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That is, I look to to be fully out there. I didn't think you could create a television series from that movie, and they have done a phenomenal job 
that is one of the best written shows out there. So, yeah, Limitless. If you haven't had a chance to check that one out, check it. It's good. Very good. Um, I'm going to have to go with... I'm assuming she's trying to say Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to avoid saying Doctor Who. <laughs> I was going to say Agents of the Black. That lady with the no. tattoos. That would have to, that'd have to be a uh, pretty interesting. Hello. Hello. There you are. There we we got Sandy back. Yes. Yay. Welcome back, Sandy. What were you saying? Ah, uh, nothing. Just librarians, because I know you hate that show, so I'm looking ah, to the Christmas special. That's his favorite. <laughs> he, he just says that, you know, when we're recording, but he really loves that show. Ah. <laughs> uh, I still hate that show. <laughs> yeah, no, we have to wait for the Christmas special now. It's Santa Claus. Oh. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would say, actually, just because of the presents, I would show to uh, Central City and hang out with Cisco Ramon and Barry Allen. Just because any present from Cisco, if it doesn't blow up, is going to be awesome. I keep waiting for him to break dance. <laughs> I actually do not believe that actor has that talent. I could teach him. Uh, but that, That's most unfortunate because we all know that that's really what Vibe does. Well, actually... So he, the, there are two incarnations of Vibe, and I agree with you. Both of them, I, I like that character. I'd love to, I'd love to see Cisco in costume. I'd love to see him develop into the actual Vibe that you and I know. That would be cool. No, not really. I, I'm just kidding when I say that. <laughs> I think no. that 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 version of Vibe, I I I've never really dug. So. I just miss the powers, the vibration powers. I'm okay. Yeah, with that. that's what that's what I was waiting for. So I'm okay with that, and and I'd be. I'd be real okay if they put him in a costume even, and, and, and he actually did more than what he's been doing so far. Just just give him sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses, a costume, and let him vibrate things. Yeah. I'm good with that. I mean, again, I feel gypped because they kept, you know, they, they gave you hints to certain characters, and they never followed through, like Metamorpho. Yeah. Okay, we've had Grodd. And, and I we, think we're going to have Grodd again. Yeah, we've had Grodd a few times. And Gorilla City. And yet can't give us Metamorpho. Really? Come on, guys. I, uh, Metamorpho. Uh, uh, I see a lot of long-term planning for the series. Though. I love that because, you know, opening that door and there's Wally West. I'm like, all right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it, it's... Yeah, yeah. I, again, uh, con- congrats to the entire show and the cast. On, uh, on on making it to the halfway point of season two, you know, it's phenomenal. Um, unfortunately, I just I think it's been a little bit of a, a downer because they've had to spend so much time setting up that other television show. Uh, and I, I don't trying know to that really that work on you know that was just strengthening the, what they have. I mean, come on, people, you you have multiple speedsters on the show. I mean, <laughs> oh, anyway, but but I, I do love The Flash. It's still I, I, appointment I, TV. I probably spend my Christmas with The Flash. Uh, if I wasn't spending my Christmas with the fanatics and the fan, of course. And <laughs> as always, you guys have been amazing. It's been fun. Uh, it's going to be an interesting Christmas season, of course, a Star Wars Christmas. You can't go wrong with Star Wars Christmas, but if, if you don't have anything else, yeah, we have each other. And I want everybody to have a set. Christmas and a happy new year. From those of us at Fanatics and the fans. Money. That's right, folks. You're listening to a very special Christmas edition of Fanatics and the Fan, and it has been a great um, Star Wars Christmas. Woohoo! Woo-hoo! Yeah! yeah. I would like to welcome to the show uh, some of this year's uh, most amazing guests. So, because we're wrapping up this year, we're having Christmas, we're having fun. Uh, we've also got uh, Andrea here from Vision Con. Hey, Shoei How are Hello. you? Good. Uh, it's been an amazing year. What a year. It, we couldn't be more excited. I mean, 
for us to be able to get a guest from Star Wars, not from just this movie for this year, The Force Awakens, but Peter Mayhew, who has been in every single Star Wars movie, every single one. It's just amazing to us. I mean, what an icon from such a fantastic franchise. I mean, we could not be happier and more excited. And for it to happen during our 25th anniversary makes it even better. That's right. The 25th anniversary of uh, VisionCon with Peter Mayhew is going to be happening in February right here in Branson. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. Absolutely. It's, it's going to be insane. Uh, some of our great guests today for our Christmas edition. Adam, how are you? Doing just fine. He, we don't like to have a whole lot of artists together, but we'll, we'll make a special case for for Adam as well as the the great the, the great David Fought. Plate. I like the late better than because like like you're away, so always late. I'm always late. So, and I would just like to make a shout out to all my Wookies. So. It's been an amazing year, David. We've done so much. Yes, this year. it's been so much fun. It's been right. I mean. Off the top of your head, what's the funnest thing you've done this year? Oh, man. I, I have to say just like all the meet and greets I've been to, like there's been a ton since the year before. And, yeah, it's just been amazing. Like the fans are great. The people are great. I get to meet you guys all the time. Like every con I go to, it's like a family. Yeah. So every time, like you, family every time yeah. you've been on our show, you've been awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Which thank is you. which is rare, but still. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> I was looking for the same You scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> what projects are you working on? Uh, I'm still working on the children's book. It's it's going to be out before Vigicon with uh, Rob Webb. Nice. And I am currently working on a graphic novel that's going to be out around Vigicon, maybe a little bit later. Um, if not, it'll be probably buried at PlanetCon this year. And and if I were to star in it, then we could be have like, you know, Walking Dead uh, popularity on it and make a lot of money. It'd be more like Fear the Walking Dead, probably. But <laughs> Walking Dead, but <laughs> oh, and that leads us to that leads me to my first topic for my panel. For every great thing that we've had this year, we've had some things that weren't great. What would you say is was was our least great event of the year for 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 us geeks? Anybody? Oh. My, my my one of my least favorites is going to be Fear. I'm sorry, it was. Very anticlimactic for me. <laughs> I was really disappointed in Fear, and I tried to watch Heroes. And I was really disappointed. Heroes was really heroes. disappointed. In I was heroes. really heroes. disappointed. Heroes, yes. <laughs> I tried to like that one. I just couldn't. It should have been great, right? Should have been, but it wasn't. It was just totally fell apart. But I'd say in mid second episode, it just started falling apart. I wanted a lot more than what we got. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just abysmal, Adam. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I have not seen Heroes. I've not seen Fear. I don't even so watch Walking Dead. Nothing's so nothing. Nothing disappointed you this year at all. Not that I can think of, but I, I, I have a very short memory span. So. <laughs> See, this is why we don't have a whole lot of artists on the show. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, because we'll, right we'll, we'll, <laughs> which work really great yeah, <laughs> on radio. Yeah, yes. <laughs> What about you, Andrea? Um, well, I think I was the most disappointed when Constantine got canceled. Um, that did happen this year. Yeah. Although it was great to see him for a hot second on Arrow, on Arrow yes. even though the episode was not that great. It, the, the whole episode should have been them working with him on the underworld. Um, they missed a great opportunity there. I yes, they like. did. Yes, they did. Matter of fact, the whole Arrow season should have been a thousand times better. Uh, I think I'm I'm to the point of thinking their only good season was their first one. That's how I feel about it. See, I have like I'm the only person probably sitting at this table. I have seen two episodes of Arrow. I've never seen Flash. I've never seen was it? Well, I've seen one episode of no. I've seen one episode of Supergirl, which I liked, but I cannot get back into it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've got I'm something not a wrong Supergirl fan. Well, that, see, that would I be am. my. I'm That's, a huge one. I'm talking about the TV show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the TV show. But I think the TV show is abysmal. It's, I've watched one episode. Actually, I've watched half an episode and turned it off. I, I'm disappointed in the fact of how much I love the crossovers. All the crossover episodes. The crossover episodes have I, been amazing. But I hate that. That's the thing. I, I don't want to be forced to watch another show because you did a crossover. Actually, I didn't, you know, I didn't so, think this. Yeah.